What's up, Ego Hackers? Welcome to the C.S. Joseph Podcast. I'm your host, C.S. Joseph. Today's Act Like question is, which of the 16 types are the best at reading people? Which is a great question, and I'm very happy to have the opportunity to uh, answer this question. A lot of people uh, are not entirely sure what the answer is, and uh, the answer may be surprising, may not be surprising. I'm not entirely sure how people are going to react to it. For me, I mean, it's just, I mean, I'm not surprised, but of course I, it's because I know all this, but so who knows? I'm not entirely sure how people are going to uh, react uh, to this particular, uh, this particular episode. So yeah, be that as it may, which of the 16 types? So, you know, oftentimes people would assume it's like INTJs, right? because they're so analytical, right? They're aware of what other people are doing. They're constantly categorizing other people on a regular basis with their extroverted thinking parent. That's just how they roll, essentially. And I get it, it makes a lot of sense. But the reality of the situation is that they're not. They're not the best at reading people. Actually, they're some of the worst. And one of the reasons why is because of extroverted feeling trickster. It can be, uh, really debilitating and also a, a big problem, ultimately. So yeah, but there are four types. There are four types that are the best at reading people and the four ty- these four types like share a lot of the same traits together uh, because they're what I call the social arbiters of the 16, the social ar- arbiters. They're the ones that uh, basically bend social norms and social rules and shape them and create them to their will, basically. That is, in effect, what is going on. Which is pretty awesome. It's pretty uh, pretty amazing, all things considered, that it happens. So, with that being said, let's look at the, uh, the very first type. And uh, that would be uh, my type, the ENTP. ENTP is extremely good at reading people, and they don't even have to know Jungian analytical psychology to come up with that uh, to come up with that conclusion. Like not even a little bit, not even a little bit. So, which is cool. The reason why that they're able to is because of introverted sensing inferior combined with extroverted feeling child. Introverted sensing inferior is able to ultimately keep track of all of their social interactions with other people stacked up over time. This then goes down to their extroverted thinking critic where they are able to compare other people to people that they have met in the past basically. And then what this allows them to do because they're triple systematic it's come up with a systematic way to process these individuals and come up with uh, come up with uh, various uh, approaches. So, and it's fine. I mean, expert intuition hero. Then it becomes empowered with the more life experience the introverted sensing inferior is able to gain from the perspective of the ENTP, and then as a result of that perspective they're able to predict how other people behave on a regular basis. And they can predict behavior, very, very good at predicting behavior, but also doing it with TI parent in place to know that like, those predictions are true, which is very useful. Then they basically are able to create a system of people, right? And classify people according to this system on a regular basis which is pretty awesome. I, for one, am very happy to be an ENTP, very thankful for who I am, and I'm very thankful for my ability to read people. Anytime an ENTP actually ends up having a bad experience, especially with a person, they pay that much more attention, they pay closer attention as a result. Much closer attention. 
So based on that, ENTP is one of the four types. Now, because the ENTP is one of the four types, well, guess what? INTP is also another one of the four types. And they basically do what ENTPs do. The difference is, is that they're way more sensitive to a social interaction, and because of that sensitivity, because they're a lot more sensitive, uh, because they are a lot more sensitive, uh, because the extroverted feeling inferior, they're afraid of not being accepted, they're afraid of not being liked, basically. And that can be very problematic uh, for, for INTPs over time. So basically from a point of survival, they have to create a system of people as well. But the difference is, is that their expert intuition parent is so precise that they can actually predict other people's behavior a lot faster. Uh, and actually, well, it's not faster, it's more like accurate. It's faster than the ENTP, but it's way more accurate with the INTP. The difference is, though, is that the INTP will end up making a lot of assumptions about people and their behavior due to their expert in sensing trickster. So it can actually be a weakness. So there's pros and cons between both the NTP types. But ultimately, it's the same, same line of thinking that governs uh, the INTP to a point, which is pretty cool if you think about it. Pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, pretty awesome. What about the other types? What are the other, the other types? Well, so the next one is the ESTP, the ESTP type. Constantly aware of other people's angles, constantly aware of how other people are reacting all the time. And basically people and comparing people with their extroverted thinking critic, as well as their extroverted feeling child, they're just able to get a sense of people and categorize people with their ISTJ shadow very easily over time. And they're constantly comparing everyone's behavior to other people's behavior on a regular basis. Behavior is compared at all times. Behavior basically is ultimately everything as a result of that. So based on those comparisons, they just look at other people's behavior, they categorize people's behavior, and they're like, okay, hey, this person behaves like that. This person behaves like this dude. This person behaves like that woman. And then they actually utilize that system as a way to judge people's character, which is pretty fantastic if you think about it. Judging people's character literally just through behavior comparison analysis, right? And then there is the ISTP archetype. And this archetype also has a similar approach, if not the same approach, to the ESTP. The difference is while the ESTP may be more accurate in terms of uh, reading people, the ISTP can get a much better sense of it. And ultimately the ISTP utilizes all of that gathered information to actually help it shape social norms, as well as bring people together. Bringing people together on a regular basis, which is pretty cool, all things considered. So you might want to be aware of how ISTPs basically run the social life ultimately of the human race and are the one the true arbiters and decision makers and shapers of what social norms actually are and what they become which is pretty cool if you think about it i really like istps from that perspective and what they also end up doing is because they're aware of these different behavioral comparisons they actually become very good teachers and end up teaching other people in the process they utilize, it, they utilize that knowledge to actually teach social norms, as well as shape social norms, ultimately. And I think, that's pretty, I think that's pretty fantastic. I think that's pretty amazing, pretty dope. So yeah, best, uh, best to uh, not really uh, understand, <laughs> best to really understand how that works, basically. So yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh... but yeah. The bottom line is, is that like the answer to this question is really it's TP types. Why? They're very pragmatic. They're very aware of social norms, social interaction, but they do it from a pragmatic perspective, utilizing their perception functions. They're able to take in the proper information and organize it through the lens of extroverted feeling but combined with a very pragmatic approach. Pragmatism is everything to those people. Being pragmatic, being independent, 
It's, it's what it's all about. It is ultimately what it means, which is pretty awesome if you think about it. I am very happy to be a TP, although TPs are often accused by other people for breaking social norms, being arrogant and whatnot. But the thing is, is due to those accusations, they have had to develop these survival mechanisms to be able to read people in order to actually protect themselves. That's why thinking perceivers do what they do, ultimately. That's the reason. That's the point. A lot of people just aren't even aware of that. Entirely unaware of that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy to be a TP, so. Hey folks, thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.